What's up everyone? Welcome back to another exciting Art of War video. In this video, we're going to be talking all about the article that Games Workshop recently put out, talking about the new Emperor's Children Index. We have known for a couple months now that there's a Chaos Space Marine Codex coming soon. They even showed off some of the models at Adepticon. They're pretty cool. But today they put out a new announcement, and so I'm going to talk about what this means for the children of the Emperor, death to his foes. I'm so excited for this. Um, Emperor's Children is an army that I have long eyed from afar. It's one of my favorite Chaos Legions. And uh, as we see the different cult armies of 40k get their own codexes, Emperor's Children is the one that I've been holding out for. Slanesh has long been my favorite of the Chaos Gods. I love the pride that goeth before the fall. I love the perfection of the Emperor's Children. Uh, they also just look cool. And so I'm really excited for when they eventually get their own new model line. But we've got the first step to that today because Games Workshop has released an article talking about the, just hinting at the future of Emperor's Children and what it means and the fact that they're getting an index. So let's go ahead and dive right into this article. I'm going to be dissecting what this means for the future and what our Chaos Space Marine players have to look forward to. So we start off, they're acknowledging, yep, we announced a Chaos Space Marine Codex. There's new models coming with it. But they're already saying that you will not find the specific Emperor's Children data sheets in the Chaos Space Marine Codex. So we're not going to see uh, Lucius the Eternal. We're not going to see Noise Marines. They're not in Codex Chaos Space Marines. Um, now, it's fairly obvious that the reason for this is that at some point there's going to be an Emperor's Children Codex where these will be featured. But they're getting an index with updated data sheets to ensure you can use them alongside all the new detachments. Now, I think what this means is that it's just going to be a, uh, a data sheet question. It's not going to be everything. But here's what it is telling us. So any true Chaos Space Marine War, War, Warband can still recruit Noise Marines. You can still use them from the index. You can also field a true Empress Children Army by fixing your keywords so that they're going to feel slashy. Basically, you still get the Dark Pacts rule. So this looks like it is going to be a just a little bit of a supplement for Chaos Space Marines. They're not making an entire new Empress Children Army list in the interim. Um, and you're going to be free to use uh, all of the units and detachments in Codex Chaos Space Marines. You just have to put Lucius as the warlord if you want to play Emperor's Children. So where I think this leads us is basically it, my guess, my, my prediction, and I, I don't actually know, unfortunately, uh, is that this index isn't actually going to be full of a lot of rules. It looks like it's just going to be two data sheets, and they're going to put a little flavorful thing of, oh, if you want to be Emperor's Children, just make Lucius your warlord and make all of your you know, units that could choose a Mark Slanesh, uh, which makes sense. That's what an Emperor's Children warband would be if you were to play it currently in the current index. Uh, but it doesn't look like you're going to get a ton of rules benefit from, from that. You're just going to get to still use these two data sheets in Codex Chaos Space Marines. And what that practically means is mm, this is just a holdover. I, I don't think anyone would really expect anything else. But there's always that question, is this going to be a full index like, say, index Black Templars that gives you all the data sheets and a new detachment? There's no mention of a new detachment here. And so my prediction is there isn't a new detachment in this. I'm guessing this is just the two data sheets. You can put them into any of the Chaos Space Marine detachments. And that's what it means. Now, what is interesting is that you can put them in any of the Chaos Space Marine detachments. My, and maybe this it turns out not to be accurate in the codex, but what this indicates to me is that there isn't going to be God-specific detachments. And you know what you could you could theoretically look at for Chaos Space Marines is, oh, maybe there's a corn themed one, maybe there's a Nurgle themed one, maybe there's a Zinch themed one. It's also entirely possible that they're gonna let those rules be more covered by the World Eater, Death Guard, Thousand Suns, Codexes, slash Indexes, and now the Emperor's Children Index. Um, that's kind of my suspicion, because if, if there was a Nurgle-themed detachment in Chaos Space Marines, well, you, you logically wouldn't be putting Emperor's Children into it. So I, I'm guessing that gives us a little bit of a hint about what Chaos Space Marine Codex is going to look like, where it's going to be very God-neutral. And if you want to play Nurgle Chaos Space Marines, then you play Death Guard. Um, and that they're probably not going to put a redundant, or at least what they view as a redundant attachment in there. 
Um, and so I think that it's just going to be kind of narrative themed if you want to make your army Emperor's Children versus putting, uh, you know, Noise Marines in a normal Chaos Space Marine army. So this says that the index is going to be released for free on Warhammer Community, so it is nice that it is going to be free, of course. And it's going to come out when Codex Chaos Space Marines hit the shelves. So we're going to get these rules about the same time as Codex Chaos Space Marines, exactly what you'd expect. Now, the last does hint at the possibility of a new Codex, uh, which is, frankly, what I am the most looking forward to. I'm very excited for that possibility of a Chaos Space Marine Codex whenever, or an Emperor's Children Codex, whenever we get it. But it's too distant for even Warhammer Community's astropathic choir. Uh, now, I don't know, unfortunately, because that, you know, that this isn't something that uh, Games Workshop is inclined to tell little old me, but my interpretation of reading that is that it means the, co the Emperor's Children Codex is probably not coming out in 2024. Um, if it was right around the corner, if it was the next Codex that had not yet been announced, I imagine that they would just announce it here. That's a guess. I don't know. Maybe they're going to surprise me and it's going to come out in September or something. But the fact that they're not willing to announce the codex, to me, means that it's still a reasonable distance off. 2025 at the earliest would be my guess. And of course, there's no promise of when or even if it comes out in 2025. It's possible that Emperor's Children gets the, uh, gets the old uh, World Eater treatment where the Codex gets released as the very last book of 10th edition, it's possible that it, it doesn't. Um, we've seen with the past three Traitor Legions, when they each got introduced, you know, Magnus got, an, got his model at the end of 7th edition, Mortarian got his model at the beginning of 8th edition, Angron got his model at the end of 9th edition, but it seems that we're already past the point where Fulgrim would get his model at the beginning of 10th edition. So we're going to have to wait. I would guess that it is going to come in 10th edition because frankly if Emperor's Children weren't getting a codex in 10th edition they would just put the Emperor's Children rules in the Chaos Space Marine Codex again like they did in 9th edition. So they may not be ready to announce it but I, I am fairly confident in a prediction that the, uh, the Emperor's Children Codex is coming but the fact they didn't announce it to me means it's 2025 at the kind of at the earliest. We'll see when that actually happens. That's all we've got for now. Of course, as Games Workshop continues to talk more about the Chaos Space Marine Codex, especially when they actually announce things that are going to be in the Chaos Space Marine Codex rather than things that won't be, we're going to make a lot more content. We're very excited for all of the current codexes that have just came out and for the new stuff that is coming to us soon. So make sure you check out the rest of the channel if you want to see more of that. As always, please like the video, share with your friends, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you're excited for Emperor's Children, what your favorite god is, what you're look most looking forward to about the Chaos Space Marine Codex. All of those likes, shares, comments, subscribing, all really helps out us uh, growing the channel. And of course, if you want to catch even more Warhammer 40k content, well, you can always find it in the War Room. That's the link in the description below, thewarroom.vhx.tv, or by becoming a member of YouTube Gold right here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We'll have more to talk about in the future. Bye-bye.